good morning welcome to e learning i am p saktivel assistant professor department of triple e tandai periya government institute of technology vellu today's topic igpt abbreviated as insulated gate bipolar transistor it is the symbol of bjt disadvantages of bjt bad switching performance low input impedance secondary breakdown and bjt is a current controlled device advantages of bjt it has excellent conduction characteristic so the advantage means excellent conduction characteristics it is a symbol of mosfet advantages of mosfet excellent switching characteristics high input impedance mosfet is a voltage controlled device disadvantage of mosfet bad conduction characteristics and parasitic capacitance at high power rating now we are combining both the mosfet and bjt when the mosfet is added with bjt it gives igpt that is we are combining the advantages of both mosfet and bjt to make an igpt igpt has input characteristics like mosfet and output characteristics like power bjt igpt has three terminals the name of the three terminals are gate emitter and collector this is the cross sectional structure of igpt so in the cross sectional structure of igpt we have two junctions a1 and a2 and the layers here the p plus region will act as substrate and also this p plus substrate is known as injection layer and this n minus region is the drift region and this p region is the body region p region is the body region n minus region is the drip region this p plus substrate is also known as injection layer igpt structure the structure of igpt is very much similar to that of the power mosfet igpt has p plus substrate this p plus substrate injection layer is the key to the superior characteristics of igpt n minus layer is called the drift region and the p layer above the n minus layer is called the body region and it has two junctions namely t1 and t2 now working of igpt when collector is positive with respect to emitter igpt gets forward bias with no voltage between gate and emitter junction j2 is reverse bias see here this collector is made positive this collector is made positive with respect to emitter then the igpt is in forward bias condition but the gate voltage is zero because of the gate voltage is zero this junction j2 is at reverse bias condition the junction j2 is at reverse bias condition now we apply the positive voltage to the gate with respect to the emitter so already we made positive to the collector with respect to the emitter now we make the gate positive with respect to emitter now an n minus region is formed in the upper part of the p layer so here an n minus layer is formed under the gate in the p region so now due to this the current can flow from collector to emitter through this p n p when this collector is positive with respect to emitter when there is no gate current then the junction j2 
J2 is reverse bias and no current flows from collector to emitter. Next, we make this scale is positive with respect to the emitter. Now, we increase this voltage up to the threshold level. So, after reaching the threshold level VGET, after reaching the threshold voltage VGET, now an N minus layer is formed here. N minus layer is formed here. After the N minus layer formation, now the current flows from collector to emitter because this N minus layer connects the emitter to the collector. This N channel, this N minus channel short circuits the N minus region to the N plus emitter region. Now the current begins to flow from collector to emitter. This collector current consists of two components namely IE and IH where IE is the current due to electrons, IH is the current due to holes. This diagram shows the static VI characteristics of IGPT. The static VI characteristics of IGPT is very similar to the BJT. And this is the transfer characteristics of IGPT. The transfer characteristics of IGPT which is the exactly same as MOSFET. Here when this gate to emitter voltage already I mentioned that when the gate to emitter voltage is greater than the threshold level VGET then IGPT will get turned on. This diagram shows the switching characteristics of IGPT. So, turn on characteristics, this portion of the curve explains the turn on characteristics of the device and this portion of the curve explains the turn off characteristics of the curve. Now, the diagram for turn on time. So, here there is a small leakage current. Even though forward bias and gate voltage applied. So, here, see here, very small leakage current, ICE. So, the time taken from the collector current to increase from the leakage current to 0 0.1 IC or 10 percentage of IC is known as delayed time. So, during the turn on, we have the delayed time and rise time. Delayed time is defined as the time taken by the collector current to increase from small leakage current to 10 percentage of the collector current. Next, the raise time. So, raise time is defined as the time taken by the collector current to increase from 0 0.1 IC to full value of IC. That is known as raise time. Even we can explain this turn on time by the concept of VC. So, turn on delay time is defined as the time taken to decrease the value of VCE to 0 0.9 VCE that is delay time and raise time the time taken to reduce the value of VCE from 0 0.9 VCE to 0 0.1 VCE in either way we can explain the turn on time see here this is the diagram for turn on time. Turn on time equal to delay time plus rate raise time. Delay time is defined as the time in which collector current raises from leakage current ICE to 0 0.1 ICE. This is the leakage current ICE. The time taken for the collector current to increase from the leakage current to this 0 0.1 IC is known as delayed time and rise time 
is defined as the time in which collector current rises from 0.1 IC to IC. It is a diagram for turn off time. Turn off time can also be explained in either by the collector current or by the VCE. So, by considering the collector current, the turn off delay time, the turn off delay time is defined as the time taken to reduce the collector current from IC to 0.9 IC. The time taken to reduce the value of the collector current from IC to this value, IC to 0.9 IC is known as delay time. And in the fall time, we have two stages, fall time 1 and fall time 2. The fall time 1 is defined as the time taken by the collector current to decrease from 0.9 IC to 0.2 IC. This is known as fall time 1. Second one, fall time 2. The time taken by the collector current to reduce from 0.2 IC, 0.2 IC to 0.1 IC is known as fall time 2. See here, turn off time, T of equal to delay time plus initial fall time plus final fall time. Delay time is defined as the time in which collector current falls from IC to 0.9 IC. This place, IC to 0.9 IC is known as delay time. And initial fall time is the time during which collector current falls from 0.9 IC. 0.9 IC to 0.2 IC. The final fall time is defined as the time during which the collector current falls from 0.2 IC to 0.1 IC. Advantages of IDPT. Lower gate drive requirements, low switching losses, small snapper circuit requirements, high input impedance, voltage control device, less on state voltage drop and power loss, better safe operating areas. Disadvantages of IGPT, it is a costlier one, latching up problem occurs in IGPT, high turn of time compared to power MOSFET. Thank you.